In chapter 14, we turn away from several chapters that have been looking at narrative and now look at Paul's letters. I think it's important for us to stress the genre of Paul's writings. It's important for us to stress the situational nature of letters. Paul is often the most disliked author of the New Testament. I think this is largely because readers fail to recognize the way that his letters address very specific circumstances. It's important for us to emphasize that these letters were never given as instructions to all churches of all times. And this is important whether the students are believers or not because what's quoted from Paul's letters are often given as instructions for the whole culture or the whole society. Highlighting that Paul sometimes gives contradictory advice to churches can help us show how doing justice to the genre of the letter helps us understand Paul. Since he's addressing different people with different concerns, his, his responses to their questions and problems will be very different. We need to recognize here that we see people in these letters who are trying to understand their lives in the light of their new religion. And the instruction that Paul gives them is trying to help them figure out how to live with that new way of understanding the world. So in many ways, we see Paul here as a practical theologian trying to help them see how their understanding of the world should influence the way that they live. I think it's important to note, even here in this chapter on the authentic Pauline letters, to remind students that a number of the things that are attributed to Paul were not actually said by Paul. This helps them get a more accurate read of what Paul was really like, and they can think then, in the next chapter, about how his ideas were developed in the context of the early church. One of the things it's important to do, I think, is to present Paul as the liberal of his day in the church. In many ways, he takes positions that were controversial within the early church. We often envision him as hard-shelled and stubborn, but he was seen as just the opposite in much of the church of the first century. So for us to present him in the way he was understood in that time can help students begin to see these texts in a new light.